so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at where we're at! Yeah! Today, we're at the MK Nature Center in Boise, Idaho! Wow! And this nature center is actually part of the Idaho Fish and Game! Wow! Today, you and I are going to learn about some native animals to Idaho! This is going to be so much fun! Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey! Who are you? Hi! I'm Nicole! Welcome to our visitor center! Wow! Cool! Nice to meet you! I'm Blippi! Whoa! Well, how do you explore this place? So what you want to do is you want to follow the animal tracks along the building, and then you want to go outside onto our nature trail and visit outside! Whoa! Cool! Binoculars! Wow! Well, thank you so much! Of course! Have fun! See ya! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at these! Whoa! They look like birds' nests! Wow! There's different types in here. One way up there, and it's really small. Woo! And one way down here on the ground, but it's really big! Hey, that's interesting! Different types of birds put their nests at different heights! Whoa! Hey! And speaking of differences, look at how neat this one is! Yeah, a bird made that! with its very own beak and feet. Whoa! And down here, whoa, this one is made out of feathers. Wow! yeah, they use their own feathers. Whoa, and this one is really sloppy, <laughs> but it definitely still holds eggs. Yeah, birds use nests like a home. Yeah, they lay their eggs in the nest, and then the birds hatch, and then the birdies can fly. <laughs> Why don't we head outside and maybe later, maybe we'll find a nest. But let's just go explore. <laughs> Whoa! This place is awesome and it's so much fun following these footsteps. <laughs> Whoa, look up there. Whoa, a big horn sheep. Yeah, I can tell why they call it a big horn sheep. Yeah, because it has big horns. Whoa, and those are actually horns, not antlers. Yeah, horns always stay with the animal, but antlers, yeah, they shed them every single year. Oh, cool, see ya. <laughs> whoa, speaking of antlers, whoa, look at this elk. Wow, this is a Rocky Mountain elk. Do you see the antlers? They're so big. Whoa, and so pointy too. Yeah, every single year, this elk, yeah, it'll shed its antlers and grow new ones back. Whoa, super cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a grizzly bear. Whoa, and do you see how big it is? Whoa, it's so fierce. Whoa, and I know it's a grizzly bear because it's brown and it's so big. And oh, another sign is, you see that bump on its back? Yeah, they dig so much that then they grew a bunch of muscle. Yeah, and it has a bump on its back. Yeah, and its head, it even has a little ridge. Yeah, like a snowboard jump. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, but these grizzly bears, they're way up north in Idaho. Yeah, they don't come down here near Boise. <laughs> We're safe here. <laughs> oh, speaking of bears, look at this one. Whoa, this is actually a black bear but it looks like a brown bear or a grizzly bear, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's brown, it's actually a black bear. And black bears can even be brown. Whoa, and they love lots of food. Yeah, they eat meat, ooh, they even eat berries. They might even climb up in the tree and eat some honey. Speaking of honey, do you hear that? Yeah, I think I hear bees. Whoa, let's follow the footsteps and find those bees. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and look down here. Yeah. Do you see this hole? Yeah, that's where the bees are coming from. Whoa. And those honeybees look like they're just working. And do you see how I'm not getting stung? Yeah, it's because I'm being nice and gentle. I'm respecting them and I'm giving them some space. I just wanted to say, hello. <laughs> All right, see you later, bees. <laughs> Whoa, they 
nature is amazing. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like we have some owls. <laughs> like a lot of water around here. Whoa, look over there. Oh, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like a dam. Yeah, I can tell because there's some water down below. Yeah, and then there's some water up above. I bet some beavers built that dam. Yeah, beavers love to build dams with all those logs and mud and leaves and branches. Yeah, and then they go underneath and then they dig some stuff out and then they make what's called a lodge. Basically like a home. Whoa, really cool. <laughs> Whoa, look over here, some animals. Whoa, quack, quack, quack. Yeah, those are ducks. Yeah, those are actually mallard ducks to be exact. Whoa, oh yeah, do you see that one? Yeah, it has a green head on it. Yeah, that is a male duck. And the duck that is all brown, that's a female duck. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, ducks love to swim on top of the water. Yeah, and then some dive down underwater to catch some food. Yeah, vegetation on the bottom. And then some stay on top of the water and then just tilt and then eat. Oh, so cool. <laughs> ducks are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Whoa, it looks like a giant fish. Whoa, it is so big. Yeah, this is actual size. And this is a sturgeon. Whoa, sturgeons are massive. Whoa, I wonder if I'm as long as a sturgeon. Let me see. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Am I as long as a sturgeon? No, it was longer than me. Whoa, this is such a big fish. Yeah, sturgeons love to hang out at the bottom. Yeah, underwater. And then they're actually really, really old. Well, not all of them, but they're ancient fish. Sturgeons have been on our planet since the dinosaur times. Whoa, those are some old fish. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can find some more fish. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, back there, there's a pond. And then it's full of water, obviously. And there's these glass things right here. So then we can peek underwater into the pond. Come on. <laughs> oh, whoa, yeah, there's fish in there. Whoa, hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, do you see those fish? Yeah, those are called rainbow trout. Whoa, and they're so colorful. Maybe that's why they call them rainbow trout. Yeah, because they look like a rainbow because they're so colorful. Oh, check this out. Whoa, yeah, we have some fish snacks. Oh, they actually gave me permission that I can feed the fish. <laughs> All right, are you hungry fish? Here you go, yum, yum, yum. Whoa, they're definitely hungry. Whoa, there you go. Whoa, whoa, look at them go. Okay, here's just a little more for you. <laughs> whoa, there's even a duck up there. Do you see it? Hello, duck. <laughs> yeah, that's a mallard. <laughs> hey, here you go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Check it out! Do you see this? Yeah, this is a bald eagle's nest. Yeah, it's a replica of the largest one ever found in the United States of America. It is so big, huh? Wow, bald eagles are so cool. They come back every single year to the same nest. 
and they keep building and building and building. Hey, remember earlier how we saw all those other nests? Yeah, it's really cool how every bird has a different type of nest. Oh, hey, will you act like a bald eagle with me? Yeah. Why don't we keep exploring and maybe we'll be able to meet a real bird. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Are you having a great day? <laughs> I am too. <gasps> Whoa, look at what it is. Whoa, hey, who are you? I'm Mariah. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi, who's your friend? This is Wilson. Oh, hey, Wilson. Wow, what a cool looking bird. What kind of bird is Wilson? Wilson is a peregrine falcon. Whoa, a peregrine falcon. Whoa, Wilson looks very fast. How fast does Wilson fly? Wilson can reach speeds of 214 miles per hour. Whoa, 214 miles an hour? Wow, that's about 350 kilometers an hour. Whoa, how old is Wilson? Wilson is seven years old. Whoa, seven, so old. Wow, well, it was nice to meet you, Wilson. And nice to meet you, Mariah. Nice to meet you too, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this has been such a fun day. Whoa, oh, there's a little Tweety bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> cool. Wow, it's been so much fun hanging out in the wilderness with you. Wow, I sure do love nature. Yeah, there's water. Oh, it sounds so nice. Oh, and there's some birds. Wow. <laughs> oh. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa, have you been having fun? <laughs> I've been having so much fun with you too. Wow, I sure do love learning with you. Wow, and we sure did learn a lot today. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see, you want a treat? You think Aww. Sprout likes treats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Oh, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter. Um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you ad adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. 
And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww, so, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww, this dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart and super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, 
two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Wow, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who I is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. <gasps> How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks, just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Oh, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, 
this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Whoa. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> I am so excited to learn about penguins. Yeah, these are penguins, and they're actually humble penguins. Oh, they are so cute. Hello. <laughs> these penguins, yeah, their native land is Peru and northern Chile. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a cold place. Those countries are actually really warm. So these penguins live basically in the desert. <laughs> This penguin likes my suspender. <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> hey. Oh, this penguin is so soft. <laughs> yeah, since penguins are birds, they have a lot of feathers. And these feathers are really small and dense on its body. <laughs> oh, hey, cutie. <laughs> and do you see its wings? Yeah, its wings actually are more like flippers because then they can swim super fast in the water. And actually, penguins actually can't even fly with their wings. That's okay, because you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see how this penguin doesn't have stripes? Yeah, there's just teeny little black dots. Hey, and the one right behind it, yeah, there's those big black stripes. That one is an adult. So front one is a child, and the back one is an adult. Whoa, hey! <laughs> They're almost the same size, though. <laughs> How are you? Are you having a good day? Because <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> Whoa, do you see these penguins? Yeah, they look like cute pets, don't they? Yeah, but they're actually not. Penguins don't make good pets. Although they're nice, yeah, they're living at this zoo so we can take care of them and we can learn about them. And the more we learn about these cute humble penguins, the better we can take care of their cousins around the world. <laughs> Whoa, penguins? Yeah, we're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on. Okay, let's walk nice and slow, and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh, hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, hello. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. If you'd like to grab a toy, we're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. We really like a lot of movement with their toys. So we have Violet that has already come over to say hi. It, it looks like it's enjoying my shadow, huh? That does happen. So penguins really like contrasting colors. They also can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes, just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh, interesting. This is pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. And we have 30 
32 of them here in the infantry. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. There are actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> okay, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is going to bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Hey, are you ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh, it felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the game, Hutch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. Ooh. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. Hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs>to feed the penguins today so we have some of their favorite fish these are called ocean smell also known as silver sides because they have that silver stripe on their side and i have herring it's silver like an anchovy and sardines just like they eat in the wild okay you guys ready to eat even hungry Ooh, i'm gonna try and feed the penguins Right. Whoa, look at these fish. Whoa, if I was a penguin, I would sure want to eat this. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh, <laughs> here you go, penguin. Here's another one. Hey, there you go. Oh, <laughs> that one must be really hungry. <laughs> okay, here you go. These fish are a lot smaller. Here you go. Oh, perfect. You want another one? <laughs> Here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, penguins. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah. Fish are nice and healthy for these penguins. Ah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, just like how we eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah, they love fish. <laughs> um, how about you? You haven't had one? Oh, whoa. There's so <laughs> many penguins that want food. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> whoa. All right, there you go. That one right here is so hungry. <laughs> they have gotten so many of the fish. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, penguins, get ready.
Well, it sure has been a lot of fun learning about penguins with you. But this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I P-P-I Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. It's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right! Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go! Whoa! Check out this canoe! It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, <gasps> yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange, and brown too. <gasps> I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. <laughs> Great job, keep going. <gasps> Whoa, I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. <gasps> oh yeah, we're traveling west. <laughs> keep rowing, friend, you're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. <laughs> Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back? <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies. The bellies eat up all the food, yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a pet. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> Stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. <gasps> hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my Sea Quest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> okay, friends, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more Stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa, did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> whoa! <laughs> Let's feed him some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa! I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> 
Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa! And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. No, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay. I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. <laughs> hey, Janelle. What do you do here? Uh, I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow, they're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? <laughs> wow! And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. <gasps> can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. Oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Hop, hop. Whoa! Prairie dogs. I know. Prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right. They also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. Whoa! Will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground and they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right, would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Yep. Oh, look, they like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you, would you like to try? Sure, let's see if they'll Play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> what does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum, sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's nocturnal. Oh, nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial or oh. mammal. <laughs> Oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Quilliam. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? 
Yes. <laughs> These quills help keep William safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills, and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quills, an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. He does. He has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting cavities. <laughs> oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa! A coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great! <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> oh, ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, Stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those Stingrays and Azalea the Wallaby and Quilliam the Porcupine. Wow, those animals are so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, let's hop away like wallabies. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. The Wildlife Explorers Base Camp has all kinds of things that explorers need to know. Like what kind of animals exist in the wild? <laughs> Will you come and explore with me? Okay, let's go! Whoa! Check it out! This place is amazing! Giant trees? Rope bridges? <laughs> I bet there are some amazing animals here! Whoa! And look at it! Binoculars? An explorer's vest? Safari hat! <laughs> I'm really starting to feel like a wildlife explorer now. <laughs> Let's start exploring! Hello! <laughs> this place is awesome! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Animal, find two facts that are true. A challenge for Explore, Blippi, and you. Learn so much on the case. Log your finds in the database. Oh, the letter is telling you and me to go find new animals and put two new facts of each animal into the database. <laughs> 
Will you help me find some facts? <laughs> awesome! Okay, let's go! It's Wildlife Ambassador Marco! Hi! Hey, Blippi, I heard you're gonna be here today. <laughs> Welcome! I am so excited to be here. <laughs> That's great. You know, we are at Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. Super fun, and there's so many different habitats. I mean, we have the wild woods, we have the rainforest, marsh meadows, and my personal favorite, the desert dunes. <laughs> Whoa! Those all sound so fun. <laughs> well, Marco, mm -hmm. I found this letter, oh. and the letter says that we need to find new animals and put two facts from each animal into the animals database. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. You know, to be a true blue wildlife explorer, you need to learn a lot about plants and animals. <laughs> well, that's good because I love plants and animals. And I love learning. <laughs> Well, Marco, is there anything we don't want to miss while we're here? Ooh, you definitely want to check out the macaws at the front of the zoo. Oh, and don't forget the rainforest. <laughs> we'll definitely go to those places. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. Oh, and I'll check back once we've gathered all of our facts. <laughs> all right. See you, Marco. See you then. Bye-bye. When I count to three, say really loudly, release the macaws. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Release the macaws! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! Whoa! Did you see all of the colorful macaws? <laughs> they were so beautiful. Did you know that macaws are the largest kind of parrot? Yeah! And they come in every color of the rainbow, even orange and blue. Wait a minute! Those are two facts that we can add to the database. Do you remember what they were? Macaws are the largest kind of parrot, and they come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, good job. Let's go see what other animals we can find. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the rainforest habitat. <laughs> I can't wait to see what animals we'll find. Hey, <laughs> I think I see someone with an animal. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Whoa! Hi! Hi! I'm Blippi. What's your name? I'm Katie. Oh, hi! <laughs> and what's your name? This is Isana. Oh, hi, Isana. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh, Katie, what kind of animal is this? Isana <laughs> is a prehensile tailed porcupine or a Brazilian tree porcupine. Whoa! A prehensile tailed porcupine? Or a Brazilian tree porcupine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know porcupines could climb in the trees. They sure can. Wow, you are so cute. Oh, you see, Sana has a really big nose. <laughs> can she smell really well? She can smell really well. That's what she's going to use to find all of her food in the rainforest. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> you are so cute. And what are those on her back? Those are quills. Oh, quills. Well, what's a quill? Well, a quill is a modified hair that she uses as self-defense. Oh, <laughs> quills for self-defense. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, Isana, you are so cute. <laughs> Whoa, and you said prehensile tail? You weren't kidding. That's a really big tail. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, she uses it to climb around and hang on to things as she's moving around in the rainforest. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Well, Isana, I hope you're enjoying your snack. <laughs> well, thank you so much for introducing us, Katie. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, Isana. Bye, Katie. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was amazing. We got to meet a prehensile-tailed porcupine. And we got two facts for our database. Porcupines have quills for defense. And they have really big, squishy noses that are great for smelling which is how she finds her food. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Hi, Blippi, I'm Jessica. Oh, hi, Jessica. Oh, and who is this? This is our friend Shakira. <laughs> hi, Shakira. <laughs> Whoa, is Shakira a snake? 
You know, she looks like a snake, but she's actually another type of a reptile called a lizard. So she is a legless lizard, or what we like to call Sheltapusik. Whoa, a legless lizard? Or Sheltapusik? <laughs> That's a cool name. <laughs> Shakira, you are really amazing. Well, Jessica, you said that Shakira is a legless lizard. Absolutely. Not a snake. <laughs> well, what's the difference between a snake and a legless lizard? I'm glad you asked. So if you look at her face, she actually has ear holes on the sides of her head where she oh. can hear. Snakes do not have ears. Oh. And then if you look at her eyes, she may blink for you. Legless lizards and other lizard species have eyelids in which snakes do not. They just have a scale that goes over their eyes. <laughs> Whoa, I probably still don't want a staring contest with Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Whoa, and Shakira is sticking her tongue out at me. Is she yeah. saying hello? You know, she's actually smelling you. You're a new friend to her, so she wants to see if maybe you have a snack. One of her favorite <laughs> snacks is snails. Whoa, snails? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shakira. I don't have a snack today. Oh, and it looks like she likes to dig too. Does she like to live in the forest or maybe in the park? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, so these guys live in dry habitats and they live underground and that's called fossorial. Whoa, fossorial? <laughs> Whoa, that is so neat. Well, Shakira, it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica, for teaching Bye. us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. We got to meet Shakira, the legless lizard. And we learned two facts that we can add to the database. Hmm, the first fact is that legless lizards, they're fossorial, which means they live underground. And they stick out their tongue to smell. Hey, let's keep looking for new animals. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant African millipede. <laughs> and it's my good friend, Lynn. Lynn is a wildlife care specialist, which means she knows a lot about millipedes. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, Lynn, this is a pretty amazing millipede. It looks like this creature has a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. Yep, she can have between two and 300 legs. Whoa, that is a lot of legs. <laughs> I only have two. One. Two! <laughs> wow, and she's doing a really great job climbing up the tree. Are her feet really sticky? Uh, they're not very sticky, but she does have tiny little claws at the end of her feet that help her to climb. Whoa, do her antennas, do those help her climb too? That's actually what she smells with, so the antenna are her nose. Whoa, you see that? Yeah, the two antenna, they're sticking off, <laughs> helping her smell. Whoa, will she get any bigger? Uh, no, this is about as big as they get. She's one of the world's largest millipedes. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, and I forgot to ask, what does this millipede like for a snack? Oh, good question. She likes to live on the forest floor, and while she's down there, she's going to eat things like old rotten wood, rotten leaves, and old fruit. Ooh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good snack to me, but it probably sounds delicious for a millipede. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Well, thank you for all those amazing facts, Lynn. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we got to see a millipede up close. And we got two more facts to add to the database. Millipedes have hundreds of legs and they're decomposers, which means they like to eat things off the forest floor and clean up. <laughs> this is so amazing. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a prairie dog, <laughs> yeah, and he's digging away. Yeah, that's because prairie dogs, they like to burrow. <laughs> and even though he might be digging like a dog, he's not a dog, <laughs> no. This prairie dog is related to a squirrel. What? <laughs> yeah, prairie dogs are really amazing creatures and they can talk about lots of things. They make all kinds of different sounds and are very good at communicating. <laughs> they can say, there's a snake over there, or there's a hawk over there, or there's a man with orange glasses and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
check it out. This place says Spineless Marvels. Ooh, <laughs> I bet it's really fun to explore inside. Because it says Spineless Marvels, I bet there are a lot of insects and bugs. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is awesome. <laughs> Do you see all the insects and bugs? Whoa. <laughs> If you look at the sky, there are tons and tons of dragonflies! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> wow, this room is so cool because it makes me feel like I'm an ant! <laughs> yeah, look, there are flowers and tall grass. <laughs> makes me feel so tiny looking up at all the insects and bugs and the clouds in the sky. <laughs> yeah. This room right here shows an ecosystem. <laughs> an ecosystem is a place where a lot of bugs and insects and animals and plants all live happily together. <laughs> see? Whoa, flowers. <laughs> I see a spider, see a butterfly, and lots of dragonflies. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see these guys? There are little beetles here. Hello, beetles. <laughs> they're so colorful. They're the colors yellow and black. <laughs> and they're called taxi cab beetles. Hey, just like the taxi cabs in New York City are yellow and black. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of the Big Apple, these guys love apples and oranges and bananas and all kinds of fruits. Can you see? <laughs> they're eating a tasty looking banana. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, they are so cool. <laughs> but they live really far away from me. They live all the way in Southern Africa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they are some pretty neat looking insects. Hmm. And did you know that these insects are invertebrates? Invertebrates? <laughs> That's a pretty big name. That means they don't have a skeleton or a spine, but instead, they have an exoskeleton. <laughs> well, thanks for saying hi. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, beetles. <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool seeing taxi cab beetles up close. And we have two more facts for the database. They're the colors yellow and black, and they love fruit. <laughs> These spineless creatures are marvelous. <laughs> Check it out. It's a honeycomb. <laughs> Bees make honeycombs. Yeah, and that's where they put their honey. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. Do you see what shape each part of the honeycomb is? Yeah, they're all hexagons, which means they have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> mm, delicious, delicious honey. It's put inside each one of those sections. And bees are really important. Not only do they make delicious honey, but they're pollinators. That means they help other plants and flowers to grow. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. Bzzz. It looks like there are some insects hiding here. <laughs> but I think we can play a game. It's called, Can You Find Us? <laughs> See, we need to find one, two, three, four insects. But they're camouflaged. <laughs> camouflaged means an insect is hiding in its environment. <laughs> so we have to look really closely. <laughs> Okay, let's try to find the first insect. Hmm. Do you see any insects? Hmm. Look over here. Do you see one hiding in the leaves? <laughs> yeah, look. He's right there. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> he lit up all bright and colorful. <laughs> we have three more to find. Next, 
Let's find this insect. Hmm, this one's a different color, so keep your eyes out. Maybe it's hiding on a branch. Hmm, do you see an insect on the branch? <laughs> yeah, look, hello, he's hiding right here on the bark. He's doing a dance. <laughs> okay, we need to find the third insect. Hmm. Do you see it? It's also brown. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Whoa, all the insects dancing together. <laughs> now, we only have one more insect to find and then we win. <laughs> Look really super duper carefully. Hmm. Hmm. Do you see anything? Is it on a leaf? Maybe it's on a branch. I'll give you a hint. This insect is really, really big. <laughs> yeah, you did it. It's right here. Whoa, it's so big. Hello. <laughs> we did it. We found all the insects and now we win. <laughs> Good job. Oh, hey, Blippi, how's the exploring going? Oh, it's going great. We found so many facts already. Oh, <laughs> that's so great. And we're actually in one of my new favorite habitats. This is called Marsh Meadows. Whoa, Marsh Meadows? That sure sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? And it really talks about the importance of water for a healthy ecosystem. Whoa, hmm. what does that mean? Oh, your vitality of water is so important for so many different animals, whether you're a bird, but especially for the aquatic animals like these guys. You can check them Whoa. out. Whoa, aquatic animals, yeah. kind of like Fish, definitely. Now the, these guys are called angelfish. Whoa, angelfish? Whoa, do you see their fins? They have really, really big fins, <laughs> so they kind of look like angels. <laughs> That's right. That's a good observation. And not only that, they're also very colorful. <laughs> kind of talks about the diversity of animals out there, which I think is awesome. <laughs> they're so colorful. <laughs> Hello, angelfish. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of them. Are they living in one big family? Yeah, absolutely right. They're actually a very social fish. And as the name suggests, Angel, they're really nice fish too. <laughs> wow, you are so nice and so beautiful. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Angel Fish. Oh, and thanks for the facts, Marco. I'm gonna keep exploring. Right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Bluebee. Whoa, that was awesome. We learned about a new animal and we got two new facts for the database. Angel fish are colorful. <laughs> And they're very nice and live in families. <laughs> hey, Blippi. <laughs> Hi, Marco. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. We saw so many different animals and we put all the facts into the database. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. You know, I think that makes you an official wildlife explorer. Awesome. <laughs> and I actually have a wildlife explorer badge just for you. <gasps> no way. An official San Diego Zoo wildlife explorer badge. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Now we're an official wildlife explorer. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with us? <laughs> OK, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye, Marco. See you, Blippi. I'm going to go check on the animals. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Today, I'm at Pet Zoo in Cochia, Brazil. Wow, this place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet. Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo. And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals. Are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
Did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute, and they are so soft. Look at this one. This one is white, and this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. Oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, carrots. Interesting. <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too. And I heard that these ponies love carrots. Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa, they are hungry. Whoa, I guess ponies love carrots. Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Aww. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh, and did you see this one? Yeah, look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, its mane? Whoa, it's braided. Whoa, it's so cute. Oh, you don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. <laughs> All right, well, let me set this right here and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals, come on. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! This is a llama! Hey, are you hungry? Because I think I see some food. Come on, come over here. Check it out! Yeah, a big white bucket of llama food! Whoa! Here you come. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa! Llamas are so cool! <laughs> yeah, they actually. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, patience. <laughs> okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit, but llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Whoa, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey. This, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he is so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Whoa, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Wow, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see if Romeo is hungry, shall we? Check it out. 
Whoa! Looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Whoa! And then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo. Here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe. Here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No? I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. <laughs> Whoa, look, that ostrich was big. Now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird. And they're medium sized. Oh, they look so soft. I wish I could pet them. Wow, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo, oh, that was cool. Whoa. Chickens! Wow! Here you go! Hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! Here you go! Are you hungry? Yeah! These chickens look like they're very hungry! Whoa! What about you? Anyone else? Here you go! Whoa! I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens! Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> Here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown, and it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small, and it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa! I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> whoa, yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one, just relaxing. Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Ooh, let me set these down right over here. Whoa, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. Wow, look at it. Whoa, this is a small chicken. You are so cute. Whoa, do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Okay, see you later. Whoa, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a Pawapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool in here. Yeah, Pawapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay and sticks, tree branches. Whoa, even maybe stumps too. Then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong. It is very nice in here. Wow, Power Peaky House. Wow, what a cool name and what a cool house. Yeah, you can do so much in here without electricity. Power Peaky House Music Party. That was really fun. Well, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. 
Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can say boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum! <laughs> oh, and look at this. Wow, what a cool device. This you can use to make cheese. Whoa, cheese please. Whoa, it is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Whoa, well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go. This has been so much fun today. And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse. Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey! And actually, they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is gonna be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Hey, let me put this on. Oh, there we go. All right. Hey! Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they are so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Ooh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Whoa. And they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah? <laughs> You are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, hey, looks like a big cow, right? Whoa, <laughs> this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers, it has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, he's so big. Here you go. You want some food? Whoa. Oh, I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Can I pet you? Oh, wow. His nose feels so nice. Whoa. What about your head? Oh, do you like pets? Yeah. Some animals to take care of them. Yeah, you want to pet them and love them. Ooh, and you can even brush them. Yeah, some animals like pets. Some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Oh, or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah, give the animal some food. Whoa, Whoa. it's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. <laughs> all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. <laughs> Do you like the pets? Oh, you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, look right here. Yeah, remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah, looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa, hey, another animal. Whoa, ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? 
Whoa, and the Jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, Jumentos and donkeys? Yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, they're donkeys. Hey, whoa, are you too hungry? Hey, do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? You like to pet? Did you see how I didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets. But right now, maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Juka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Yuka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground. Whoa, I do love playing. All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? Ready? <laughs> Here's one. All right. And two. One, two. I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play. Whoa, look at this. Looks like you climb inside. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's pretty wobbly. Whoa, whoa, look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide. I love slides. Okay, here I come. Whoa, whoa. I got a little stuck. Not the fastest slide, but that's okay. It was still fun. Come on. Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes. But over here, there's another fun thing to do. Come on. Whoa, cool, a trampoline. Ooh, and it's so colorful. Woohoo! yeah, I love trampolines. Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia. Woohoo! Yeah! Look at me! I'm a kangaroo! Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Boing! 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 <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay? A lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah! They're so colorful, and they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, a frog. And here in Brazil, they even have colorful poison dart frogs. Woohoo! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, frogs are so cool. I've had so much fun today. Whoa, whoa, I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe, and then here's two shoes. Wow, did you have fun with me? Yeah, I had fun with you too. I really enjoy taking care of animals, and I also love to play. Yeah, whoa, check it out, some water. I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important. Ah, 
hydrate. <laughs> Today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals, and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. <laughs> mm. Well, this was so much fun. And if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Please spell my name with me. Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then, let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello flamingos. Hey, wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk. And if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. 
Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah, it's a really strong smell and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands and that says, hey, don't mess with me, more bad things are coming and if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs>is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa. Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa. And it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably going to think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey. How are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah. Three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey! Do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails, and he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night. But Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa. That is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. 
isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah. And she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not, she's actually a lizard. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too? Oh. And they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow! Oh! Whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada, <laughs> yeah. And I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. OK, 
Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right. Let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right. I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah. Put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right. Sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm going to make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is going to have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job. Let's check him out. And Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow. Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here 
The group is actually called a troop. Whoa! Group rhymes with troop. <laughs> well, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silverback. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby! Oh, so cute! <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. Check it out! Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, it looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too! Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she, because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa! Looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello! I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Whoa, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Well, they're from 
the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. It's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah, it's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah! This is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <gasps> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. <gasps> and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> Whoa. Look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding on the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, my name's Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well. We are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can you sit inside? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah. So keep us dry and away from the sun. And <laughs> so many seats. Woo. <laughs> We're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Special safari gear. Whoa, safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> look, we have binoculars. Oh, we're seeing really far away. Woo. <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent, you look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Do <laughs> you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> oh, they are giraffes. <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm. Do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. 
She's 16 days old. Whoa! Ooh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's going to keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa! <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty. And so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? Well, think of it as sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicones are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah, they have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh, hmm. hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well, and eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh, <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh, hello, giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, they also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals. Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at him. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe eared oryx. Whoa. Fringed eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their head. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa, and look, they have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh, <laughs> wow. Hmm, they're so cool and they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these oryx run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of oryx. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> These orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Blippi, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. 
Marco, what kind of animal is this? Uh, you're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa, <laughs> why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Pulky. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh, do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they gotta eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wow. They sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah, they're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs. It helps <laughs> with sunblock, like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't oh. need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, get dirt, dust on their back, kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> no problem, let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew. Looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey, do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal and they can run up to 70 miles per hour <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah, let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> It was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. I'm so excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? Uh, this is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold. <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he did. As he sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got snack for that day. Ooh, <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer, <laughs> how's it going? Hello? Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa, he keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up scent particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> It sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. 
<laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa, but this snake is so cool. Hmm. What type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh, yeah. yeah. Python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Oh, that's a great question, but you know, pythons are generally found in the old world. So Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> Wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh. I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do, yeah. This predator is a constrictor, so he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters, but we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife pair specialist. <laughs> like my good friend, Marco. Ooh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow, hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, it's a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye-bye. Wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> we saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? Yo, one of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow. I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Whoa. Whoa, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa, did you see that? Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa, so beautiful. Well, right now we wanna wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal, <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. He should go say hi. But we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> we'll get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Hmm. Wow. Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, 
He's so beautiful. <laughs> His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? well? They see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow. That is one amazing bird. <laughs> well, we better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bothy. I'll see you there. OK, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. OK, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal, I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Uh, well, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. OK, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. That's amazing! Marco, what kind of animal was that? Oh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lantern falcon, both found in Africa and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're going to show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa! I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big! <laughs> come on! Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa, the feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm, do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah, just like the snake. Yeah, look, hmm. this little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime, help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yep. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one to share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah, that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Oh, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big. <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, a uh, West African? Whoa, wait, did you see that one? <laughs> oh, yeah. East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name. <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> 
Whoa, and what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers, so they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying, she's got feathers to keep her warm, she's even got feathers to attract a mate, but those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals, and she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department, and she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. Yeah, no problem, Blippi. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Look at where we are. <laughs> it feels like we're in the jungle. Woo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa! You see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Look! He's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah. Tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food. And back teeth, that help chew the food. <laughs> Woo! It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, maybe he's not gonna eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa! Look at him walk. Whoa, <laughs> he was moving really fast. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus. <laughs> We're gonna find him, I just know it. Who I have here. This is B. <laughs> and B's my friend. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, B is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo. And she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Gruya. Ooh. <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa. <laughs> Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet. And they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet. And a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa, <laughs> you want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want some lettuce? <gasps> mm. Took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. 
Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah. B likes to hop. Hop, hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. <laughs> I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> Hey, B, do you want another treat? Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah, and they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go! <laughs> at what it is. They're western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like B the wallaby, except they're not wallabies. <laughs> they're kangaroos. Mm -hmm. They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go see if they want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you want a tasty treat? Some gruya. Hey. Isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah, do you see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger, and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa! That's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't want to get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa. They're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa, and that's where little joeys, hmm, baby kangaroos, like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. Isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm. Has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's a <the> platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. <laughs> it's really dark, but I know we can find it. 
Come on! Whoa! We found the platypus! <laughs> Look at him swimming around! His bill looks just like a duck! <laughs> and his body like a little otter! Whoa! And look at his tail! It looks just like a beaver's tail! <laughs> so cool! Oh, look! He's swimming under a log! <laughs> he loves to swim! Woo! Hello! Ooh. Ooh. We made it outside! That was amazing! We got to see the platypus swimming around! <laughs> we did it! Thanks for helping me find him! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around! <laughs> I had so much fun going on a safari with you! We saw so many amazing animals! Hey! What was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go! B L I P P I! Blippi! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! Bye bye! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! And today we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California! <laughs> Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They like to waddle, and they live in the snow. <laughs> Good job! A penguin! <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be at the zoo because today we get to see all kinds of animals. Let's go! Whoa! I am so excited because we're going up in the sky on the Sky Fari. Whoa! Hello down there! <laughs> we're so high up in the air! Whoa! Do you have a favorite animal? <laughs> I like that animal too. Animals are amazing. They're so smart <laughs> and so cool to watch. I love learning about them, especially learning about Conservation. <laughs> yeah, conservation is really important so we can take care of the animals. And that way, they can be around for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals, I see some right down here. <laughs> it is so fun being up in the sky. You can see so many animals from up here. Hmm. And a lot of different plants. <laughs> Yeah, it's really important for animals to have all types of plants. Yeah, where an animal lives, that's called its habitat. <laughs> and if you take really good care of an animal's habitat, then the animal will stay nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want you to meet one of my good friends. Her name is Lisa, and she's a wildlife care specialist. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. Welcome. <laughs> I am so excited to see some amazing animals. But I had a question. What is that? What is conservation? Oh, my. Conservation is so important. <laughs> it's how we save the animals that live on our planet, the places they live, and we can help them right here from our own homes. Oh, it sounds like conservation is really important. <laughs> well, I had another question. Lisa, what's your favorite part about being a wildlife care specialist? <laughs> well, you can guess it's the animals. I love working with the animals. There are so many different kinds I didn't even know. <laughs> and they're very special, each and every one. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds so amazing. Hey, can we see some animals now? We certainly can. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we're gonna see. Hmm. This is Peanut. She is a beaver. Whoa! Hello, Peanut! That is an amazing beaver! <laughs> Hi, Peanut! I'm going to pet it right here on her hips, if you like. Whoa! What does that feel like? It's so soft! <laughs> yeah! Is it dry? Mm, it's a little bit wet! Good, because she's a water animal! Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing! Can, can Peanut swim really fast? Very fast, and she's very strong, and those teeth are used to gnaw on wood, <laughs> chew the bits. 
Whoa! <laughs> and now, let's feed her some lettuce. Hey, Peanut, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want the crunchy part. Do you want a crunchy piece of lettuce? Oh. Ooh, I bet you'll like a carrot. As long as it's not a peanut, oh. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. Whoa, peanuts holding on to the carrot and munching it. It's so crunchy. Whoa. She uses those hands. Whoa. And her nose is so big. Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how much bigger her back feet are than her front feet. Whoa. Her back feet are so big. Come take a look. Where's my, See where's my carrot? Come on up here. Yeah. Little front hands and paws and a really big back foot. Oh. And look over here. Peanut has a really big tail. Whoa. <laughs> look at her. Got a really big tail and some really big feet. <laughs> She's so cute. I love some cool animals like Peanut. What do you think that tail is used for? Hmm, I don't know. Do you know what the tail would be used for? Swimming. Swimming, huh, <laughs> that makes sense. Because Peanut is a water animal, her tail helps her swim really fast. <laughs> wow, Peanut is so amazing. <laughs> well, Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> thanks, Peanut. Well. You gotta get back to the water, so I'll see you soon. <laughs> bye bye! Hmm, I wonder what this next animal we're gonna see is gonna be. <gasps> it's a bird! Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird it is. <laughs> Let's ask. Whoa! Hi, Bobby! Hi! What kind of animal is this? So Taylor is called a yellow nate Amazon. He gets the name yellow nate because he's got that big patch of yellow on the back of his neck. <laughs> Whoa, do you see? Huh. My favorite colors are blue and orange, but it looks like Taylor? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, the bird, he likes green and yellow. Is that funny? Is that funny? Hello. 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 I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, Taylor can talk? He can mimic what he hears, so he's not actually talking, but hmm. it's pretty close. Wow. Right? Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> no, not today. Is that sad? <laughs> oh, it's not sad at all. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Well, what else can Taylor say? So Taylor likes to mimic the sounds of other animals the best. Since he lives here at the zoo, do you want to show them how your kitty cat? <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's go bigger and louder on this one. You want to go bigger and louder? How about your tiger? Yeah. Whoa, that's a better tiger, tiger than me. <laughs> but his favorite thing in the whole world is to scream. <laughs> he loves to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Taylor, do you want to show them some more cool stuff? Yeah? You want to show them how you warm up? Yeah, it's important to wing up and to warm up before you start singing anything. <laughs> that's amazing. Taylor likes to sing. And I like to sing. <laughs> Whoa! Do you want to sing a song for them today? I'll be your backup dancer. We'll be your backup dancers, okay? Here we go. We're going to go with this. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Woo! Yeah. Wow. It that is a lot of fun. Amazing. Thank you, Taylor, for performing for us. You are so welcome. Everybody out there, goodbye. I love you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, I love you too, Taylor. <laughs> I'll see you later. We'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Hmm. It's really bumpy, kind of rocky. This is a termite mound. Hmm, but I wonder why it's here. Hey, maybe Lisa knows. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Libby. Why is there a termite mound here? Well, Bobby is going to introduce you to Zola, our aardvark, who eats termites. Whoa. <laughs> an aardvark? <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. It's an aardvark. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Whoa! Hi. Hello. So this is Zola, and Zola is an aardvark. They're found out in Africa. 
Whoa, Sol has a really, really cool nose. Yeah, she has a really cool nose and a really cool tongue. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like too. Whoa. They get a nice good look. All right, you ready, sweetness? Look, Bobby's showing us how long Zola's tongue is. <laughs> Do you see that? Look, it's this big. Yeah, it is made for breaking into these termite mounds and eating all the termites inside. Wow, that is amazing. Zola, you are so amazing. <laughs> she is a pretty amazing animal. Yep, that's my pup. There you go. Wow, and Zola has really big ears too. She has really big ears, so she has a really good sense of hearing, a really big nose, really good sense of smell, really big eyes, but you know what? Not a great sense of vision, because they are a nocturnal species, and they spend a lot of time underground anyway. Whoa, did you hear that? Zola is nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, that means they're awake at nighttime. Whoa, that's pretty silly. Hey, look, it looks like Zola's still really hungry. <laughs> yeah, she's always hungry for these termites, and we're gonna see if she can show you exactly what it would look like in Africa if she were to find a termite mound just like this. Yep, they're right in there. Whoa, look at her. Wow, she's really big and looks really strong. Whoa. Yeah, she's really big and really strong. She is 130 pounds of almost all muscle. Hello. <laughs> hey there, Zola. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like she's liking to climb up tall. Yeah, she wants to get you uh, to give her some treats, but instead you want to give her a couple pets on the shoulder here? Yeah. Yeah, what does she feel like? Whoa, she's really soft. <laughs> it kind of feels like mm, my beard. Yeah, Whoa. a little bit. <laughs> so people say they feel kind of like a pig, which is how they got the name aardvark, because aardvark means dirt pig. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> dirt pig, aardvark. <laughs> so silly. Wow. And her hands, are those nails? Those are nails. They are really strong and sharp because in the wild, they would break open termite mounds like this. Whoa, yeah. Do you see her nails? Her fingernails are as long as my fingers. <laughs> Whoa. And that's because she needs to get into those termite mounds to get some tasty treats. That's right. Oh, you are an amazing animal. Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, Zola, Zola's my friend now. <laughs> We're just hanging out, eating some mealworms. Whoa. Hey, Zola. Come on over here. Look over here. Come on over here. There you go. Whoa. Very Whoa. nice. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, they have really big eyes, but their eyesight is not the best because they actually sleep in a burrow underneath the ground. Wow. So they actually use these nice, big, long hairs underneath their eyes to be able to navigate. All these hairs, are those kind of like whiskers? Kind of like whiskers on a cat, yep, exactly. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Zola is so beautiful. She is pretty cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you today, Zola. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so amazing, meeting Zola the Aardvark. <laughs> hey, hmm, I wonder where Lisa went. Oh. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. That was so amazing seeing Zola. Wasn't she amazing? <laughs> Were you surprised by that tongue? Yeah, it was so big. <laughs> and sticky. And sticky. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> Just... mm. Are we going to meet another animal today? We certainly are. We're not going to meet the fastest animal, but we are going to meet one of the slowest animals. This is Xena. Oh. She's our two-toed sloth. Can Hello, you, Zena. <laughs> can you guess why they call them two-toed sloths? Hmm, can you guess why they're called two-toed sloths? Oh, Hi, they're Zena. called two-toed sloths because they have one, two toes. <laughs> so silly. She wow. sleeps during the daytime too and is awake at night so that when she's moving around slowly, she can find the fruits and flowers that are have bloomed during the day. Wow, can did you feel hear her? Yeah, I'd love to feel her. Oh, she's so soft and gentle. Isn't she? What people don't know about sloths is that they can actually be really good swimmers, too. Whoa. I know. They can swim. <laughs> Absolutely. And they eat. Here's one of your favorites. So, uh, Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> Oh, is that good? So cute. See how she's eating upside down? Sloths do everything upside down. They Whoa. sleep upside down. They eat upside down. <laughs> they even meet friends upside down. Whoa, it's like it's opposite day 
every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Isn't she? Hey, sloths are awake at night. Do you remember what word we use when an animal is awake at night? <laughs> yeah. That means this animal, this sloth, is nocturnal. <laughs> and really cute inside. That's right, and slow. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that part. Zena is so slow. She uh. is. <laughs> and showing us our, her best upside down face. Hmm. I oh, think... did you swallow? <gasps> another one. Time to give her another treat. Wow, <laughs> look at those teeth. They're so pointy. Yeah, they look like triangles. That's right, that's nice and sharp to cut through the peels of any of the fruit that she might find in the trees where she lives. Ooh. <laughs> I like to eat fruit, Zena. Fruit is good. Mm, just like a sloth. Fruit is so sweet and crunchy and tasty. <laughs> Indeed, and she loves them all. Mm. Well, it was so nice to meet you, Zena. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Slowly. I'll see you later. Slowly bye, walking away from Zena. <laughs> yeah. I think Zena is getting a little sleepy. She had a lot of snacks too. <laughs> wow, we learned about so many amazing animals. Yeah, they were so amazing and wonderful. <laughs> well, I think that's why it's so important to work on conservation. Yeah, we want to conserve the habitats these animals live in and also the animals so that we can see them and see how amazing they are for a really long time. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for introducing me to so many amazing <laughs> animals <laughs> and for teaching me and my friends about conservation. <laughs> I am so glad that you came because conservation is not only important to me, it's important to all of us. <laughs> so tell a friend. I will. You too. Tell a friend. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Lisa. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 so silly. <laughs> I had so much fun seeing all different kinds of animals with you. So many different kinds here at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Filippi, good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. Tweet, 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 tweet. Woo. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs>
Oh, they're so amazing. Look at them all. <laughs> Look, you can see he has two paws and two really big feet. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, did you know that polar bear's fur isn't white? Mm -mm. No, it's clear. Yeah, and their skin is black. Whoa, <laughs> who would have thought? They look white. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what they're all looking at. I know, they're probably looking for their favorite food, melons. <laughs> yeah, these polar bears love food, especially sweet treats and vegetables. <laughs> He's snacking on some lettuce. Do you see their mouths? Come here. Whoa. See? They have really powerful jaws. <laughs> and really big teeth. Oh. And did you know that polar bears can smell really well? Yeah, so they can smell for their food. It can even smell through snow. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, it's a cantaloupe. Yeah, a cantaloupe. Just like you or I would eat. <laughs> but it looks like... Whoa! <laughs> he got it! <laughs> Look, he's munching on a cantaloupe. They're so sweet and healthy. <laughs> Cannonball! Woo! <laughs> I was being a cantaloupe. <laughs> This bear right here is over 10 feet tall. It stands on its back legs. That's taller than me. And these animals here, yeah, these three polar bears, they were rescued by the San Diego Zoo so they can live and eat all the cantaloupe and leafy greens that they want. <laughs> these are some amazing creatures. <laughs> where we are. <laughs> Whoa! Look, it's a polar bear. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this polar bear is so big. Yeah, this is the biggest polar bear here, Kaluk. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Kaluk loves to swim. Polar bears are really good swimmers. Yeah, to get their food or to swim through the Arctic seas. Mm -hmm. And they can hold their breath for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, look, he's just floating in the water. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> Ooh, so much yummy lettuce. Well, I'll see you later, Kaluk. <laughs> I think Kaluk wants to go play with the other polar bears. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I go find some other animals? <laughs> I'm so excited to see what we can learn. <laughs> Whoa, it's an elephant. <laughs> yeah, and this elephant's name is Mary. Mary came to say hello. Come on. Mary is amazing and is an Asian elephant. She's so big! <laughs> oh, and these are my two friends, Craig and Emily. <laughs> They're professional wildlife care specialists. <laughs> yeah, that means they take care of Mary. <laughs> Whoa, you see what they're doing? Look! Oh, they are doing physical therapy with Mary. That's because Mary is a really old Asian elephant. <laughs> really old, 57. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Really good at stretching. So much fun to stretch like an elephant. Because Mary's an Asian elephant, she doesn't have any tusks. 
no tusks, and Mary is really hairy. <laughs> oh. And you can see, not only is Mary hairy, but her skin has some dust and dirt in it. Yeah, that keeps Mary cool. Her wrinkly skin, she can put some dirt in. Keeps it nice and cool in the sun. She doesn't like to be really hot and sweaty. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hey, did you notice what's in Emily's mouth? Yeah, look, it's a little silver thing. Did you hear that? <laughs> Let's listen again. It's a whistle, and the whistle tells Mary, good job, <laughs> you're doing so great. And because you're doing so great, I'm gonna give you a treat, a tasty apple. <laughs> Keep listening for the whistle. Did you hear it? <laughs> Mary's doing so good. Whoa, look, Mary's trunk picked up another apple. <laughs> Did you notice something? Yeah, the end of the trunk for an Asian elephant, it doesn't have two fingers, no, or five fingers like us. No, it has one finger and another part that looks just like the palm of your hand. So Mary can pick up food, or grab a tasty apple. <laughs> These elephants are amazing creatures. <laughs> it's so fun to watch. Hey, can you name all the parts of an elephant with me? Okay, hmm, let's think. The trunk, <laughs> the really big ears, Woo! <laughs> four legs, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and look, Mary has a tail, whoa. <laughs> I love acting like an elephant. They are so amazing. Whoa, <laughs> it's so tall. <laughs> Whoa, now it's time to give Mary some food. <laughs> yeah, Mary loves to eat all kinds of things, but her diet consists of cucumbers. Whoa, cucumber slices and apples. <laughs> yeah, it's also important that we feed Mary some bran and mineral oil. Mm, <laughs> that doesn't sound as tasty, tasty as an apple, but it's really healthy for Mary. <laughs> and we gotta keep Mary healthy. Whoa, and look at this, come here. You see what Emily's doing? Yeah, Emily is giving Mary an extra special treat. <laughs> an extra special treat, raisins, <laughs> yeah. If Mary's done a really good job or done something really special, we give her raisins. She loves raisins. Oh, it's her favorite treat. <laughs> hmm. Hey, maybe Emily will let me give Mary some raisins. <laughs> Emily, is it okay if I give? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Look where we are. Whoa, look, it's a penguin. <laughs> Hello. And this penguin's name is Dot. Yeah, Dot is a South African penguin and is really cute. <laughs> hey. Yeah, look, she has a really long beak. <laughs> and is the colors black and white. Hmm, wait a minute. We're in San Diego. We're not near the snow. It's not very cold out. <laughs> That's because these penguins are temperate penguins, which means they like warmer weather. So it's really comfortable outside right now. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, Dot. <laughs> Look, she's so cute. <laughs> hey, did you know penguins are birds too? Yeah, they lay eggs, they have feathers, mm. but they can't fly. Mm -mm. They can't fly. 
but they're really good swimmers. They're really fast swimmers too, and they like to waddle. Hey, will you waddle like a penguin with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great job waddling like a penguin with me. Well, this was so much fun learning about penguins. <laughs> I bet we can see some other amazing creatures. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Bye-bye, Dot. Look at where we are. <laughs> We're inside the Galapagos tortoise habitat. <laughs> Whoa, and look at him. Yeah, this is a Galapagos tortoise. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, this tortoise, his name is Aldo. He's a really nice tortoise. He's so slow. Whoa. <laughs> And so old. <laughs> yeah, he's so old. Galapagos tortoises can live into their late hundreds. And Aldo, yeah, he's 95 years old. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at what I have. Some lettuce and some tasty kale. <laughs> Better save it for Aldo. Hello. <laughs> you want a snack? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at his mouth. Oh, Aldo has really powerful jaws. Whoa! <laughs> his mouth loves munching green things. Yeah, Galapagos tortoises are vegetarian, <laughs> which means they like leafy greens and vegetables. Whoa! <laughs> but you don't want to get your fingers too close to their mouth. Mm -mm. Do you want another snack, Aldo? <laughs> Whoa, here's another bite. Whoa, <laughs> he's so cute. Hey, did you know that tortoises and turtles are different? Yeah, this is a tortoise. Yeah, Aldo's a tortoise which means he likes to walk around on the land. But tortoises aren't turtles. Mm -mm. Turtles like to be in the water. And some turtles, like sea turtles, swim and live in the water <laughs> and only come out of the water in case they need to lay eggs. <laughs> but tortoises like Aldo, yeah, he only goes in the water if he needs to cool off or take a bath. <laughs> Ooh, let's give him. A little more lettuce. Whoa, here's another bite. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, and do you see this shell? This shell is part of Aldo's body. Yeah, it's not a shell that Aldo can crawl out of and find a new one. <laughs> no, that'd be so silly. No, this shell is part of him. Yeah, it grows on his back. And depending on what type of Galapagos tortoise you are, you might have a different looking shell. Yeah, sometimes they're a little more open on the top, so the tortoises can reach up to get really, really high food. <laughs> and sometimes it's a little lower because they eat food on the ground. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and do you know what Aldo really likes? <laughs> Shell rubs, <laughs> whoa, and scratches. Whoa, <laughs> he's really happy now. <laughs> whoa, do you see how Aldo is standing up? Look, he's standing up straight and he's in a trance. Whoa, <laughs> so silly, yeah, just like that. In Galapagos tortoises, this is called the finch response. <laughs> yeah, and that's so. Finches, yeah, the birds, can come in here and clean the tortoise's skin. By straightening up in this trance, gives the birds a lot of space to fly in and give little leg rubs. 
clean their neck. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> he's so cute. Well, tortoises are amazing, but they're endangered. <laughs> that means that they need to be protected. Thankfully, the San Diego Zoo protects them <laughs> and gives them lovely homes like this. <laughs> wow, I had so much fun at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? OK, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. We are at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are going to see some awesome animals. Let's go. Got my member's card. All right. OK, come on. This is going to be so much fun. OK, here we go. This is Cindy. And what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. Oh, Boris is so pretty. big kitty cat. <laughs> That's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. So this is Sarah. Hi. 
And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So, what are we gonna, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay, so, so. This is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up Hold right it. up to his little nose. Okay, here and I go. And he's gonna slurp that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa. Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long. Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt. He would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants' nests and termite mounds. And then he'd use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum. That looks pretty tasty. Yeah. So Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life. And when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out hey. with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. OK. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. Okay. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. OK. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. this place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Hey, here we go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay. Where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. Huh. And then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right, let's do this one right here, actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. Oh, it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Okay, is that all? No, Blippi, let's okay. take the fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum. Look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what? Let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay. It's kind of like a search and find because <laughs> we'll put some right here and then we'll hide some for them to find it okay so spread out the wiffle balls and let's sprinkle some on top of the wiffle balls Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun <laughs> okay 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 there's a little bit more let's put some right on this ledge Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let him out. Okay. Drum 
Dromedary Camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> Dromedary Camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo. They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. In this place, has amazing sea creatures, and we can actually touch them. See? You can touch, but with only one finger, okay? Whoa, look at these right here. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello, hi, little guy. And hey, little girl. Hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Woo! Did you see it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. <gasps> okay, ready? Woo! Whee! Oh, it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. Oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. They're really hard. So cool. And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slowly. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs> Carousel, come on! Hey, horsey! This is gonna be so much fun! See? It's a carousel! And right here, this is the instrument panel that turns on the carousel. And I got the key! <laughs> okay, let's put in the key right there. <laughs> and... All these animals. Yeah. A horse. A poison dart frog. Some more horses. Ooh, a polar bear. We saw one of those today. A zebra. Did you see the zebra? Ooh, a pig. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh tiger. Ooh, an anteater. Okay. Now I think it's time for us to ride the carousel. Come on! But first we need to pick our favorite animal. We gotta wait for it to stop. Come this way. Wait! The zebra? Hmm, I don't know if I wanna ride the zebra. Let's see what else. A horse. Polar bear. Hey, horse. So much fun. Okay. This animal, yeah, is a poison dart frog. And I am going to ride this animal. Gotta buckle up first. And once I'm all buckled up, oh, gotta loosen that up a little bit. Oh. All right, I am ready to ride. Here we go. See, we spin around and around, as well as go up and down. Whoa! Hey, horsey! Whoa! Look, this poison dart frog is the color yellow. Fun. Hey, it's me, Blip 
happy. And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. Whoa, this is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. Did you see that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Ooh. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could de see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Whoa. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. 
That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa, this tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is. Oh, he's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello. How are you? Whoa! Whoa! Look! The tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa! Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa! Hello! How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa, this is a female. And this is a male. Whoa, hey, do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. <laughs> oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Eee, open wide. Here comes the carrot. Whoa. There you go. Is that yummy? Hey. Tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa. You have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch, see? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them and this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. My turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. Oh, look. An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? 
You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. There you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right. Here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay, and they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woo! So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They <laughs> have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a Ooh. couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! Looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? 
Let's see what we can do. Oh, Come there on, you go. guys. Oh, I did it. Look, it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can't. Can. Oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they sucked the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa! <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa! Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer Whoa. as they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yep. Look at them. Hello. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right. Let's feed some more. Take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Come on. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. All right. Check it out. Whee! I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, 
There's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay, I'll keep these right here. Okay, yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa. Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! Whoa! This is awesome! We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah! A horned lizard? That's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Whoa, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Whippy!